assemble the control panel on your KS multi-head, you will first grab the control panel from down below. We'll set it on a table and open the box. Next, we'll go ahead and open our control panel. And inside, you will find the keypad and the bracket for the keypad and the control panel. To begin the installation process, we will first take out the four gold Phillips screws off the back of the control panel. Next, we'll go ahead and mount our bracket to the keypad. Go ahead and loosen the two screws on the back of the keypad and take them completely out. And place our bracket on top of the keypad. secure. From there, we're ready to put the panel and the keypad on the machine. The first step in securing the panel and the keypad to the machine to loosen the two screws on the left and take them completely out. From there, we'll grab our keypad and place it on the machine. Go ahead and firmly tighten each screw. To secure your control panel to the machine, we recommend that you have an additional person to help you hold the panel while you start the screws. Place the panel up to the bracket. And go ahead and start the first top right screw. Next, we'll start the bottom left screw. bottom right. We'll keep those screws just barely started to where they're tight enough to hold the panel and we'll leave the top left screw out because we will use that later to connect our ground cables. Next, we'll go ahead and grab a pair of scissors and cut the zip tie off of the cables. From there, we'll grab our ground cables and route them up through the bracket on the back of the control panel. Go ahead and put both ground cables together and put your top left screw through the cables. Next, place it into the machine and go ahead and tighten it. Now that we have our ground cables secure and fastened, we can tighten the rest of the screws on the control panel.
Now we are ready to connect the rest of the cables. The first cable we'll plug in is for the keypad. Simply take it up through the bracket on the control panel and clip it in. Next, we'll plug in the two remaining cables. The first one will be the Ethernet, and we'll plug this in the far right Ethernet slot, or the one labeled MC. Next, we'll take this one and put it in the far right two-pronged plug. Once you have done this, you are now ready to power your machine on.